Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's two-minute fishing report. Well, folks, if you wanted winter weather, we definitely got it this past weekend. Wow, uh, I've never ever been that cold around here across eastern South Dakota in a number of years. It was just uh, uh, quite frigid out there, and that has definitely affected the number of guys that were going out there, and definitely affected the bite. I mean, the high pressure that came in on Sunday really pushed a lot of the fish down, made it really tough, uh, a tough bite. But uh, guys that were out there coaxed a few fish to, to bite and uh, were rewarded uh, to brave the cold. So, uh, you know, the fishing reports have kind of mixed right now. So hopefully this next week, or this coming week, with the warmer weather, that will kind of turn things back on. Uh, so as far as the fishing report is concerned, the walleye bite, uh, again, up in the northeast of Bitter, Wap Bay, uh, Indian Springs, Enemy Swim are been doing pretty, been doing pretty well, as well as REITs. Uh, guys have been catching a few fish there as well as opits. Then on the southeastern part of the state, uh, Thompson, uh, Ponson, uh, Dry, uh, East Oakwood, and then also 81 Ponds, and then Sinai. And then a few are being caught also at uh, Twin Lakes, the, the Trophy Lake, also Vermilion, and then also Madison. Uh, but that's only been a few and far between. Also Diamond, I should also keep that in mind too. And then as far as the perch bite is concerned, really it's been focusing on a couple of lakes. Uh, that's been Ponset and then also Dry Lake. Uh, Thompson's been getting a few there as well, but Ponset, it seems like, uh, you know, depending on the day. You know, folks, keep this in mind. All the ice thickness around the area, especially with Ponset where a lot of guys are going, has varied anywhere from, uh, you know, five, six inches on up to a foot. So it varies greatly, especially with that snow that's on that ice. So as you're going around that lake, make sure, or any lake that is, make sure you're drilling as you go to make sure that you're dealing with that safe thickness of ice. Now what guys are using, a lot of rattle jigs out there, uh, a lot of guys are using middles and also middle heads for the walleyes, and then as far as the perch bite is concerned, a lot of guys are using maggots as well as wax worms. In this version of Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to talk about augers. There's a number of different augers out on the market, and uh, we have all of them here at Dakota Angler, folks. So if you're interested in auger and want to learn more about it, stop on by. Uh, but if you're talking about, uh, you know, the typical two-stroke motors, uh, whether or not you're dealing with, you know, Strike Master, Jiffy, uh, Eskimo, we have all of them, and there depends whether or not you want laser blades or chipper blades. And what is the difference between that? We'll first talk about that. A laser blade basically will shave the ice, a much smoother cut, a much uh, cleaner cut. A chipper blade will, you know, be a little bit, uh, let's say, messier, but it will also be a little bit more resistant to a lot of the fine gravel that we have on a lot of our legs. So a lot of guys like chipper blades for around here, and also for reopening holes. It's not impossible to do without a laser blade, uh, but again, it's probably a little bit easier with a chipper blade. And then as far as other types of augers are concerned, uh, you have the propane augers. you got propane augers by uh, Jiffy as well as Eskimo. Again, we have both of them on hand. And really, it's, it comes down to how much you want to spend the price point. There's not much difference between both of them other than the fact of maybe the CCs of the motor and then also the transmission and then the, how they're cutting. So keep that in mind. And then the other one uh, is the electric. Uh, a lot of guys have been... Uh, in the market for electrics, whether or not we're talking about uh, the Ion uh, Auger or the Ion X or the Strike Master Lithium uh, battery uh, electric auger. All have been working really well, very popular. Uh, we have all of them on hand here. Again, it is really depending on how much you want to spend and what you want it to do. All of them have different ways of working into your budget and working into your method of fishing. Then the other one is the, the drill attachments. We have the K-Drill as well as the Nils Master Drill Adapter uh, Auger. So again, we have all those. And the nice thing about those is that if you already have an 18 volt drill or stronger, it will work quite well. It'll go through a lot of ice and uh, be a much lighter auger. But again, if you don't have that drill, then you're all better off just buying a regular auger. So again, we have all your drill, uh, excuse me, all your auger needs right here at the store. So if you have any questions, stop on by and we'll be more than happy to show you and explain each one of the different augers. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week.
And remember, folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. Before we end this uh, week's report, I want to thank all of you that attended Customer Appreciation Weekend. Despite the weather, it was uh, quite frigid to say the least. And maybe it was so cold that guys couldn't go out fishing and you came into the store. What a great weekend. It was great to, to be able to talk to some of you. Uh, we were so busy there for a while, I could hardly uh, talk to anyone. But I want to thank all of you that attended. And th those of you that couldn't, uh, I appreciate uh, your, your thoughts and the whole thing about uh, hoping that it goes well. So again, uh, your support is much, much appreciated by myself and my entire family. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on. We'll see you next time, and again, thanks for watching.